in the U.S., we basically don't use vibrato. In Europe, everyone uses vibrato, uh -huh. and um, and in Russia, lots of vibrato. China, lots of vibrato. You know, and um, um, but U.S. orchestras, for some reason, is pretty. I don't know. I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, and uh, but I I use it and don't use it. It depends for me. Mm -hmm. I, I use it a little bit sometimes. Um, I think it's tasteful. And, and only only in solo playing or in quintet playing or orchestral uh, playing or in all those places when it's called for. Yeah. Huh. I don't. Yeah. I guess I don't do much orchestral playing, so I can't really. I I guess I would say I mostly play straight when I play in um, in orchestras. Uh, it depends on the section. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if I'm a, if I'm the principal and I'm playing solo line and I think it's tasteful, I might put it in there. Mm -hmm. See what the conductor thinks. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, but it's not the. Uh, I guess we do the vibrato. Um, uh, it's not like the bassoon players. It's not down here where they're pulsing and where they learn to pulse. I I uh, I think a uh, horn vibrato sounds best uh, if it's like like how a Broadway singer uses vibrato. Uh huh. Well, they let it out on long notes. You know, uh -huh. they just kind of break into it and yeah. and it kind of comes and goes and and when they're doing faster stuff, you don't hear the vibrato. Right. <coughs> I think that's how most Americans use vibrato uh -huh. if they're going to use it. And and how do you, how do you teach somebody to do that? I have them listen to singers. Or you know. Uh huh. And is, and is and is that approach to vibrato you, you mentioned? You know, just sort of letting it go. Mm -hmm. Is that what's happening? Are you letting something go? Yeah, so, I'm relaxing my chops. I'm le basically letting the pitch get flat and bringing it back. Uh -huh. down. So well, are you doing that with your chops, or, you, or is yeah. that in your throat somehow? No, it's or in my chops. Uh -huh. It's a low, low, low. Uh -huh. like but you're doing that with your jaw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if that's how it would be, but that's how I do it. Uh -huh. um, most, um, it's funny, it, the only, um, I have two funny stories about vibrato. One is that the, when I was in, oh gosh, eighth grade, I was practicing. I was like, the only eighth grader in the world who practiced in high school. <laughs> <coughs> After school one day, and I don't know what I was playing, and, but I hadn't had many lessons. You know, I just was kind of playing the band and stuff. And, and the high school band director opened up the door that I was practicing. And he shouted at me, "Horns don't use vibrato!" And he slammed the door and he walked out. And I thought, "Well, screw that! I don't like vibrato." Um, uh, but usually, the um, I do hear students who who come in and play for me and and. Um, and there's a, a shakiness, and I always have to ask, you know, it's like, okay, now, are you using vibrato, or are you nervous? Uh -huh. Because, um, and they say, well, um, I guess I was using vibrato, and I say, well, okay, that vibrato makes you sound nervous. You have to be, you have to do more, yeah. or do less. But what you're doing right now, a lot of them think of just a slight shimmer, Yeah. but it actually makes French horn players sound nervous, Yeah. and you don't want to go on. That's right. So. It, you, you guys are unnerving enough. Yeah. Just exactly. <laughs> wondering if you're going to make them. Just taking the horn out of the cage. Yeah. There are American horn players um, who play with vibratos. I mean, like John Shermanow, who plays principal in Seattle. Mm -hmm. He's from Texas, actually. He plays with a vibrato. Very beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. sound. Great horn player. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, in general, I would say Americans don't play. Yeah. Learn to keep it straight. Yeah.